It's the Willie Moore Jr. Show, flat out. Like, as a man, like, how do you balance that to say the right thing or the wrong thing and being humble enough to apologize when you do things wrong? Like, how do you balance two amazing women with strong attitudes? I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, I, I lean on, on on the fact that I know that they know that I really have their backs Good stuff. and their best interest at heart. And so if I do say something or I do something that's either out of pocket or, you know, maybe out of line, they know in their heart that I'm doing it because I love them or I'm saying it because I love them or I'm trying to push them to be better or, or greater, you know, or I'm seeing that they're not uh, uh, functioning to their, you know, potential and what they could be doing. Mm -hmm. And that really frustrates me. So I might say something to try to get them to, you know, and so sometimes I might go a little far. Yeah. But I see, I seen you on the show and she was like crying, breaking down. And, and it was like, well, well, do you care about me as a wife or do you care about me as an artist? And you just sitting there like, I'm not really talking to the woman like right now. Yeah. No, she was crying out. You was like, yeah. you was like, what you mean? I don't care. Like, I'm talking she, to she knows EC right now. She knows I care. And 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 then he can stand later, to be a little more tender. That's here's all the thing. I'm here's the thing. After, he wore the jacket for, for after the <laughs> he got the same jacket on. It's tender, Willie. <laughs> exactly. uh -huh. After we leave the the award show, and she she got an uh, an arm full of awards. Right. Right. She's like, "Thank you, babe. Them, I mean, them you awards, really right? them awards ain't in the You bed really pushed me. You really pushed me. Thank you, you for really, the bell. I ain't think about that bell. <laughs> There has to be a gentle balance of um, being a, a tough producer um, and creator, but was understanding I was where I you. I, well, I just added this in, so it's just like an addition. Help me! I'm okay. helping you complete the <laughs> Help me. whole idea of what you're saying. I th uh, the, the woman is getting all the bells right now. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, saying though, I'm sorry. it's love. I have to you Thank you. Clap, God, I just <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a balance of. Of love and pushing, and sometimes he does more pushing. But I mean, I don't think I would be the artist I am today. I don't think I would be where I'm today if he kind of tiptoed around my put emotions. It this, put and it feelings. this way: I always make it up. You always make it up. Yeah. Listen, Listen, and when we leave in here, what's happening? Hey! 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 <laughs> we gonna make up, make out, make down, make around. Oh, Come on, thank you, Jesus. Flood up. I think God intended man and woman to just be together because He wanted him to only dream about one girl. Right. Not every girl he sees, not all the sexual inventory from your past. Mm -hmm. And if you have that, you've got to clear your soul and your system out to walk in a relationship and really have each other's best interests. And I just thank God for where we That's are. That's something I do. I, I, I call it starving my eyes. I got to starve my eyes. Starve my eyes. Because if I see, here's the thing. Uh, and and if, if you're a man listening, I know you can attest to this. You can see a woman four blocks down, if you can see that far. Yeah. And and not even see her fully, and still four days later you had that same thing. There's That's a true. I've seen a lady when I was 12 years old walking into a a used car lot on the way to school when I was 12. When I drive down that street, I still, I still see that see lady that. right now. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I remember I she was a tall, light skinned lady walking into it, ne yeah. and it never leaves. So sometimes I gotta intentionally say, you know what, I'm not, I'm gonna look over here because yep. I don't want to I don't want to remember that later. Yeah. Crystal laughs at me all the time because we meet people and they say, I've met you three or four times. And if they're at times, if they're a beautiful woman, like literally I talk to them, but I talk to their forehead. You gotta talk so to I'm like forehead. talking to their forehead the whole time. It's like, oh, he's acting funny. Like he know me. He reintroduced himself. I, and literally I told a girl last week, I said, you know, honey, listen, I know you now and we cool and it's all good. But at that time in my life, I was kind of on my eye fast because I was getting reckless in my images. Mm -hmm. And so I was probably talking to your forehead, and that's why <laughs> that's why I didn't, yeah, my bad. And, we, and, 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 uh -huh. men, and men, we have all these different little things we do, rituals and things we do in our mind to, to trick ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we don't, so we don't look is, at the wrong thing too long and that kind of... This is something women have no idea about. No idea. I, I'm reading a book right now called um, For Women Only, but it's mm -hmm. about men, mm -hmm. and it's... It is mind blowing the revelations of how women play a negative role and sometimes bringing down really men who have good hearts and good intentions. Mm -hmm. If you work with somebody and you know he's married and every skirt got to have be thigh high, like <laughs> not every and it's every every time, like you have to be aware. And then 
do you want to be sexualized like that? I know I'm going to get in trouble with some people, but listen, if we don't watch what we're wearing, then you just become a tool and, and you really aren't going to ever get married because you're just you a plaything. You can't play thing. wear white dresses mm. tight like that. See yeah. how you hey, did that like dress that? Was amazing. <laughs> Your dress was amazing. I just want to tell you. Listen. I thought it was amazing. I sent it to you, and you said it was good. I, listen, let me tell you. CeCe Wine is a mama. Shirley told me I was good. So, so if I had a white dress, <laughs> ain't nobody saving a CeCe Wine and mama Shirley. Indeed. Thank you. Slow down. What's your advice for single people? For single people? Yes. Oh, y'all got a rough time. Y'all got a rough time. <laughs> it, it, um, no, Chris was saying, y'all, like, she's really generalizing. Things are happening in her <laughs> life. So it's just for them. <laughs> it's <laughs> for them. Yeah, it's for them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I really rung there the bell. You, you know what? I think it is smart to watch who you're around, watch what you take in, watch your desire, make sure it lines up with God. You really have to have God in the middle of your dating experience because if you don't, you're going to be in a trick bag. The enemy can trick you so quickly. So quick. Oh, uh, I mean, because it's the whispers, it's the lie. Oh, it's you just, it's not, we can go on a trip. Oh, no, it's just, it's fine. Mm. I mean, we going out, you coming over. I mean, I got new sheets and a bikini wax, but we cool, we're just hanging. <laughs> like you set yourself up. You, 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 you prep yourself to fall, to fall into down. a situation that doesn't allow you to really... I look at dating like this, like courting. There's a plaintiff and a defendant, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to plead, you should be with me, you should be with me. I'm dope, I'm cool, I'm, I'm nice, I'm cute, I'm fun, I'm smart, I'm this, I, I got my life together, right? Well, if the plaintiff and the defendant sleep together, are they ever going to truly be honest um, and able to convey how they feel because now everything is kind of compromised because y'all lay down together, That's right? Yeah. And so you have that combined with your other sexual inventory of people that you've been with because yeah. everybody ain't virgins when they get married. You know, if we keep it 100. Yeah. And so yeah, you, you have to... be to, honest with yourself, too. Yeah. You cannot go to the beach and say, I'm not going to get wet. I'm not going to get wet <laughs> at this right. beach. Right. It's water everywhere. <laughs> right. Eventually, yeah. if you stay there long enough, you're going to get wet. Indeed. I mean, that's just the, that just is what it is. And if you're not honest with yourself about stuff like that, you're yeah. going to end up just doing the wrong thing and, and having to, you know, kind of redo that whole thing over, run that test again. Because mm -hmm. if you don't fa pass the test, you're going to tap. You're going to have it again. over and over again until you pass it. So, yeah. Indeed. You know, Indeed. Uh, Family, listen, what I want beach. you to do. Um, <laughs> as Med is kind of wrapping me up, um, I want us to honestly continue to pray for the Campbells, New Church, Cali yes. Worship. Yes. Uh, man, cannot wait to get to California and worship with you guys. Yes, and it's sir. just an honor to have you. Uh, follow Erica at I am. I'm Erica Campbell. And Warren Campbell at? Uh, uh, just Warren Campbell. Just Warren Campbell. Yes. Just at, Warren, at Campbell. Warren Campbell. With a Y. Warren with the Y. W-A-R-R-A. No, -A. don't you say Ara Ara. Ara Ara. Like y N. And, then, and listen, do me a favor. Follow us on social. We're going to make sure that we put these jackets that they're kind of matching. Six flags matching. Twinsies. Like they're on their way. They're twins. So it's like so, oh, no. it's so amazing. Yes. Warren will never live this down for the rest of his life. He's going to be his screensaver. My block jackets <laughs> on the Willie Moore Jr. Show. Honored to have you both. Glad to be and here. Then, stick around.